the New South Wales Telstra medium size business of the year is Booktopia. Is that uh, the 2011, 12 or 13 speech I wrote? <laughs> No one's mentioned the word persistence tonight, <laughs> but I think all of us can identify that um, persistence does pay off when you're running your own business. I made a few notes, um, and uh, before I start my speech, I just wanted to say I have checked some of the other speeches on YouTube, and they do go longer than the prescribed amount. So there's a precedent set, and I'm gonna take as long as I like, because this is the fourth year that we've had a go at this. <laughs> It, it is a great honor and a privilege to receive this award, for sure, um, because this is the fourth time lucky for Booktopia. Um, we were a finalist in 2011 and 2012 and 2013. And to think of all the companies that have won before um, in this category um, and to be on par with them, because we have been here, we have sat in this room and listened to their stories and think, wow, they, they are great businesses and to be on, on par with them is really humbling indeed. And uh, congratulations to all the other finalists, of course. And as I said, being a finalist, we know that when you are chosen to be a finalist, it's like a podium finish. You know, silver and a bronze is still fantastic. And we've always treated being a finalist in the Telstra Business Awards as a podium finish. It meant that we were on track. It meant that we were doing things that, that others <clears throat> perhaps weren't doing. And so, please, for all the other finalists, um, and I know some of them have actually been a finalist for more than once as well, because we recognize their names, um, just keep on going. It's really, really important. Um, I've had, I have the very good fortune tonight to accept this on behalf of so many others. So. Firstly, I must thank my business partners, my brother, my sister, and my brother-in-law. Um, one, two, three, hands. Si Simon Nash and Alana and Steve Traurig. We've been working together now for 16 years, and this is great recognition for our passion, our commitment, and our journey. And before you ask, no, we've never had an argument. <laughs> Robust conversation, but not an argument. A big thanks to our leadership team, of Wayne Baskin holding the um, award, um, Ainsley Henderson, Tanya Johnston, and Angela Kyle Zippermeyer, who are here tonight. And for those that are we watching this on video later, to John Purcell, uh, Daniela Arias, Gillian Rutherford, Lindy Bainon, Alex Huntley, and Phil Maundrell, who can't be here. And a big thanks to our senior um, and incredibly hardworking supervisors and to the entire 100 people that now work for Booktopia. Um, big, big thanks. A very big thanks to our manufacturing division, our parents, who wouldn't have had us, we wouldn't have Booktopia if it wasn't for them. <laughs> but if you would have told me that the one year that the parents did not come, <laughs> that we're now going to have to explain for the next 10 years why they, didn't, they weren't here. If you would have told me that in the beginning, don't invite your parents and we would have won, that would have been so much better off for us. So, on behalf of the directors of the company, Steve, uh, Simon and myself, a very, very big thank you to our life partners who support us every day and night when we go home and actually share the highs and lows of what we do each day. So to my fiance, Catherine, to uh, thank you, to Simon's wife, Lisa, who gave me the proverbial nudge four years ago to enter this competition, thank you. To, um, to my darling sister, who I love very much and I get to work with you every day, and Stephen's wife, thank you. I'm sure I speak on behalf of everyone in here, actually, um, in my leader, on behalf of my leadership team and the colleagues of Booktopia, uh, that are not, are not enough recognition goes into those of us who have partners at home who are supporting you in your business. Um, it's, it's really an important part of why we're all here tonight, to be honest, and it's, it's a big thanks to everyone who's out there supporting us as we go through our 
daily grind to, to build a business. Um, the compromises that you make and what you have to do to get us uh, to achieve our goals is unbelievable. A big thank you goes out to our suppliers, in particular the Commonwealth Bank, um, our banking partner, and I, use the par I, I don't use the, the word partner very lightly. Uh, they are a tremendous importance to us and our success, to the publishers and the book industry, the wholesalers, the distributors, and our parcel partner, Australia Post, who this year will deliver one million parcels to Australians uh, for us. Thank you. Uh, we are all this in this together, and it's as much your award as it is ours, for sure. Just a bit about us. For those that you don't, that you don't know Booktopia, I started the, my first company in 1996. It was an IT recruitment business, and in 98, I convinced my family to join me. Uh, we sold that company and started a software business. That then morphed into an internet marketing company, and then I started Booktopia as a little side project uh, in the evenings in 2004. My brother, Simon, managed the finances, and he said, you can start Booktopia. Um, it's got to be outside of hours because we've got our internet marketing consultancy, and I'm giving you a budget of $10 per day to start the company. It's very generous, my brother. <laughs> Hasn't really changed. <laughs> so I worked on Booktopia from 9 p.m. till 2 a.m. after my son, Tyler, went to sleep, and it took three days, <clears throat> took three days to sell the first book. By the end of uh, the first year, we were doing 100,000 a year, and by the end of the second year, we were doing 200,000 <clears throat> 200, a year. And, and by then, all of us had to get involved. We had to drop our internet marketing consultancy. The business was growing. Um, uh, in, uh, not long after, Steve, his background is in IT, um, and so we built our own website. Um, got a whole bookstore um, up and running. Uh, luckily enough, uh, Wayne Baskin joined us um, with his IT skills, and we built a, a fabulous site, although, of course, like many of you here, have had many iterations of your site, um, and, and the business grew. Eight years ago, we were in 60 square metres. Um, five years ago to the day, we were in 450 square metres. Um, we then moved that year to 2,000 square metres, and a couple of years later, we added another 2,000, 4,000. In the last few weeks, we have just moved into 10,000 square metres. <laughs> ten, 10 years on, we now do around, instead of 200,000 a month, um, as we did in the second year, we now do around 3.5 million a month and sell one book every 10 seconds. Not as many as latte, chai lattes, but uh, we're getting there. <laughs> Um, about a million Australians have bought from us. We've sold about 9 million books since we've started, 2.3 million of those in the last year. Uh, we've had no external investment like um, our previous speaker, Winner, spoke. Um, most of the people in the beginning said, why even start a bookstore? Amazon's been going for 10 years. You know, you're too late. Um, now, of course, they say to me, 10 years on, they, they say to me, oh, it's lucky you got in early. So this, this leads me to my biggest thank you of all, seriously. A, few, a number of years ago, a few years ago, I was invited to sit on a book industry strategy group. Um, I said to them, you don't want me on there, I'm going to piss people off. I'm going to provoke, I'm going to annoy, I'm going to, which is of course what online businesses have been doing and bookstores are very traditional. And they had publishers, they had authors, they had literary agents, they had distributors, printers, everyone was on this book industry strategy group. And I listened to the guy for a half an hour and he said to me, he said, look, we really, really want you on there. I said, oh, okay, I'll do it. I said, but is the most important group of all been invited? And he said, he said, bit of, bit of silence, he said, no, they haven't. The customers, the readers. So this whole industry strategy group was n had nothing to do with the people that were actually the customers of the industry. And our biggest focus has always been on our customers. So a big thank you to our customers for making us who we are today. You are, in fact, our investors in Booktopia, and that's why we have been incredibly successful. successful. <laughs> so to every customer that has ever bought a book from us, we say thank you. And to, and to those of you that are about to buy a book from us, we say welcome to the family. So in closing, on behalf of all the winners, finalists, entrants across Australia, a huge thank you must go to Telstra for putting on the most prestigious business award program in the land by a country mile. First class, you guys are amazing, thank you.